Hey guys, it's Caitlin from GreatPhotos.com and today I have another process video using my homemade kit. If you haven't seen my process of making my homemade kit, I'll have that linked down below. And I'll also have the other latest process video using my kit also linked down below. So for this layout, I decided I wanted to do a grid format. So I'm using some of the Project Life cards that I had in my um, kit and playing around with the arrangement on those. So I'm um, scrapbooking a picture of my cat. She's sleeping on my bed. She's all curled up and cute. And I decide on this nice blue, yellow, and gray theme. And as you can see, I'm trying to map the photo right now. And I'm going to use some of this gray pattern paper to pull in more of that color scheme. And all of these Project Life cards that I will be using are from the core kit that's the happy edition it's called so they're really bright colors really fun I don't know if it's still available or not but maybe it is so this is going to be the layout of all the cards when I'm completely done so they do all stay in this position but now I'm looking for little embellishments to add and little tidbits for just accents and I don't fill in any of the journaling on this video I do that afterwards but it's not in the pictures either because I do it after I take all the photos so when you head over to my blog you won't see the journaling either sorry about that I know some people like to see the journaling beforehand but don't worry I will be putting it on so I'm using my embellishment kit that I made here to find some yellow pieces I also wanted to do some stamping on this layout because one of my challenges for using this kit was to stamp on my layouts more often so I took this Heidi Swap stamp set and I'm using some uh, black ink. Uh, I think I used my Stays on ink, yes. And this uh, says right now. The stamp says that. So I'm just stamp practice stamping it and then I'm going to stamp it on this left card here. And it turned out beautifully. And then I'll be gluing everything down shortly. I really wanted to use one of those flags because I find it really hard for me to use some of those flags on my layouts, but I will end up using some of those on a later layout. So I also have these um, really cute stickers from the dollar store. There's some script words and then some little like stars and hearts that are really nice. So I wanted to use some of those stars to pull in more of the yellow. I mean hearts to use some of the to pull in some of the yellow onto this layout. And then I have these basic gray rub-ons that I want to use, and I don't end up using any of those, even though they would have fit um, well without the white on the layout, but I just couldn't find one that I liked. And now I'm just uh, putting down this on some foam adhesive, and I'll be this um, little scrap piece here is a little Polaroid cut out from the Dear Lizzie Fifth and Frolic collection. And I wanted to put this button under there and now it won't fit. And I got it to work later, you'll see. And now I wanted to use really use this yellow paint because you might have seen me um, grab it earlier. So this isn't a perfect match to the yellow in the kit in the Project Life cards or any of that, but I didn't it looked fine. It didn't bother me. It was nice and bright. And I just squirted some of that out of the page and just brushed it out with my brush just like I wanted. And then for the title, I will be using some Prima letters. And these ones, I don't remember the exact name of the actual product, but they are all different like fonts, so it looks really cool in the end. And the title for this layout ends up being Everyday Adorable because I wanted to use a stamp. And there was a stamp that said every day in the Heidi Swap kit. So it worked out really well in that sense. And so I will be fussing with these letters for quite a bit, actually, because I bought these at Tuesday morning. So I'm not sure exactly like how old these collections of stickers are, but they don't stick on their own at all. So I have to glue down each one individually after I get them all off the sticker sheet. So as you can see, they're all different font styles, and I think it looks really cute in the end. And I'll even glue them down straight, hopefully. 
And sorry for the page being cut off, my desk is really small and the way my tripod has to be set up here at school is really difficult for me to get the whole layout in the shot and comfortably work. So hopefully when I go back home this summer, it'll be a lot better. <laughs> so like I said, I have to glue down these each individually and sadly I have two packs of these stickers but I will not be buying any more, even though they're really cute. Do you guys often have this problem with stickers? Like, I know some people have this problem with other kinds of thickers, and I also noticed on some of my chipboard letters they don't stick as well as I wish they did. So maybe it's just certain brands. I don't know. And then the last letter. And I dropped it. Oh, and I'm using my Ranger Glossy Accents to glue these down. So now I have to stamp the rest of the title. And I will stamp it in Stays on Ink. So we'll just get the little cover off and stuff. And then I'll stamp it right above there. And if you follow me over on Instagram, you would have already seen a sneak peek of this layout. Because I... Uh, I made this quite a while back and now the video is finally going up because I only post videos on Saturdays. So now I want to use this really cute squiggle stamp. I don't think it ends up turning out that well so I have to cover a little part of it but that's okay. So I'll eventually have to glue everything down. So I'll start with the photo. And then this little heart from my heart punch I punched out of some scrap paper. And I glued it underneath the home sweet home. And then I'll be working on the bottom left cluster. There wasn't that much embellishing on this layout, actually. And my camera died right there. Sorry about that for the little jump. But like I was saying, there isn't that much embellishing on this layout. I really liked all the white space. And I think the Project Life cards were decorated fine the way they were. They didn't need much. And I didn't know what to put on the one in the bottom middle there. The blank plus blank equals blank. Haven't figured that out yet. But we'll work on that with the journaling like I said. And I wanted to also use this um, Heidi Swap Color Shine in Butter. And I'm really not good at making splatters. I find it so much easier to just actually like use the nozzle to drip it on. Like physically like touch the paper and make the droplet as big as I want because I'm really not that good at splattering like everyone else seems to be. So I'm going to put a few more tiny embellishments on and that'll be pretty much it for this layout. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to head over to my blog gravefloralist.com for more. There'll be close-ups at the end and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.